Hey guys, Jason Cipriani here, a CNET How To contributor. And today I want to talk about how to download and navigate your Twitter archive. A few weeks ago, Twitter finally announced that we would have access to our past tweets and that it would take a few weeks to a few months to roll out to all of its users. Well, one of my accounts has access to this now, so I wanted to take a moment to show you how to download and navigate and what all you can do with your Twitter archive once you have it in your possession. All right, so what you'll need to do is log into your Twitter account in the top right corner, click on the gear icon and select settings. Scroll to the bottom, you'll see a new Your Twitter Archive section. Click on Request Your Archive, and then you'll have to wait for an email to show up. Once the email finally does arrive, you click on the Go Now button. It'll redirect you to Twitter's website. You'll log in, click the Download button. It downloads a zip file that you can then unpackage, and inside you'll find these contents. You can view the README text file to learn how to use it in other ways, but now double click the index.html file to continue. Once you do that, this is an offline Twitter archive of all your tweets from tweet 1 to tweet 50,000 if you have that many. You can scroll through month by month. You can also jump through year and month and see how active you were at a certain period of time. Or if you want to search for a specific tweet, you can even do that by scrolling to the top and typing in the search box uh, for a keyword. So as you just saw, downloading and navigating your Twitter archive is actually really easy. You just have to have some patience to get there and wait for it to be enabled on your particular account. If you log in and scroll down to the bottom and you do not see that your Twitter archive section, that means your account doesn't currently have it available and you'll have to keep checking back. Once again, this was Jason Cipriani with CNET How To. Make sure to visit us at howto.cnet.com.